Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. I'm in Copenhagen taking a look at the new Audi e-tron prototype. So this is the very first electric car from Audi. And it presents a really interesting design opportunity for the interior because, well, it doesn't have a combustion engine and it means that we have a little bit more room to play with. So we're gonna take a look at the interior as well as these virtual mirrors. And I'm gonna ask the question, are they just tech for tech or are they actually useful? All right, so here we are in the Audi e-tron prototype. Room, or actually not room, because it's an electric car. Oh, oh, the seatbelt's tightening. And uh, no, it's actually their first electric SUV. So, here we go. We're going onto the streets of Copenhagen. Yes, we are. Ready? Ready. Look! <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought you did. Uh, what we have here um, is the digital window that we opened with the Audi TT and the virtual cockpit and we opened even further with the A8 and the digital world, world in here is the virtual rear view mirrors. So it's stretched to all both sides. What we have is two HD cameras showing us what's going on in the back. So and they're just shooting straight back and then they're projecting the image, the on image onto the beautiful these two crisp seven inch OLED screens. OLED panels. First in automotive. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. But when I was when I was presented with them, I thought, why would you replace something like a conventional mirror? It's practical, it's cheap, it's wonderful. Yeah. And there's two reasons for that. First, lots of technical things. The car is slimmer, the car is less likely to crash, it's more aerodynamic and it saves energy. Cool things, but it doesn't really sell it to me. What's really worth kicking is um, it knows what situation you're in and it shows you the information you need. So if you're going on a motorway and going quicker than 90, it zooms back out and shows you the cars that are further back. Because that's what you need oh, in a car situation like that. When you're turning, if you're, if you're going in an intersection and there's a cyclist behind, perfect here for Copenhagen, what it does is it zooms to the, to the cyclist and warns you with a little ring and tells you, look, this is the person you're going to run over there. Please stand Please forward. don't run them over. <laughs> or with parking. If you're yeah. going to reverse, the mirrors are going to go down and show you the curbs on both sides. So you're not going to, going to hit the curbs oh, and scratch your beautiful wheels. Interesting. And so will they tuck away when you're, when you're in park or was, is this for the... They won't tuck stand? away for legal reasons, but you can okay. manually tuck them in just like your conventional mirrors. Okay. Um, because that to... seems pretty expensive if like, uh, somebody accidentally knocks out your mirror driving by. That is true. <laughs> it's the same with conventional mirrors yeah. already. They're electric, they're heated, all that. It's an expensive thing to, to knock off the car, but they are slimmer, so we hope that it doesn't happen. So I thought that cars couldn't come with these virtual mirrors because of like legal reasons. I thought that we had, we had to have hard, hardware mirrors. That's true, that's true. It was a big discussion and it's yeah. still in every single market. For the European market, for ECE, it is allowed. We can drive around in them. Okay. Um, the same goes for Japan, for Singapore, for Australia. Yeah. With other countries, it's not so far. With the US and China, they have to still get their head around the, the virtual idea. That's interesting that China is actually not first to hop on this because China seems to be ahead with a, with a really aggressive legislation for autonomous drive. So that's interesting. China's not a part of that. <laughs> well, not yet. Not yet. Not We're convinced yet. that that. It'll See come. These further on It'll, the road. Come. So it'll come, yeah. It'll come. It'll come. So what do you guys think? Are you excited for the virtual mirrors? Do you want them in your car? Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, why don't you go ahead and do that? I'm your host, Nicole Scott, for Mobile Geeks. What?